Hi, welcome to Turtle Tuesday. I'm about to get started. Tape doesn't need to be here. That was to try to hold my phone up because I have this rigged in a way that's just, I need a tripod, I need a tripod. I am waiting on my chocolate to melt right now. And I have another batch of turtles going because we got more orders this morning. So I got to add two more turtles. So I have 26 instead of 24 going out this week. We are going to Virginia, North Carolina, Border Station, Made in Virginia, which is downtown Fredericksburg, uh, the water park, which is in Virginia Beach, the big Virginia Beach water park, and Knoll's Produce in Northern Virginia. So if you're in those areas, go by and pick up fudge. But the turtles that I do, they only go to Wigman's with pralines and fudge. If you see me disappear a lot, it's because I have to go check on my pot of caramel to make sure it doesn't boil over and make a huge mess, which has happened before, not to me, but to my mother. And it's a nightmare. This is the caramel I'm watching right now. It is not quite boiling yet, which is good. I have time to go in there and stir the chocolate. But once it does start boiling because it hits a certain temperature, I have to watch it because it will spill over and I have to constantly stir it and stir it and stir it to keep the bubbles down. So I am just waiting on this. Wait, pretty crazy week. We have so many orders, but I think it's because it's the end of summer orders and a lot of these places are going to close. But then we'll get Belvedere. So if you're familiar with the Spotsylvania Fredericksburg area, then you know Belvedere Farms and their Harvest Festival, and you'll be able to find our fudge there. And they'll have pumpkin pie, and that's my favorite. My husband is making vanilla fudge. I think he's doing maple walnut today or peanut butter. I'm not sure. Safety glasses are to protect my eyes from when the caramel's in the pot and it's bubbling. It doesn't just flash up and burn me. So I've already been burned on my arm and I don't want it to hit my eyeball. That would really hurt. That's the Mr. Men show in the background, by the way. It's a pretty cute show. Is everything good? I usually use a butter knife for this. So I don't break my good knife, but I don't have a butter knife. So I'm just going to have to gently kind of get it out of the pan like that. And then that happens. Put that there. Oh. Ta-da! Get my big old pan. Turtley turtles. Making you loud. This is? I don't think that's making you loud, baby. I think you're just loud. Okay, one more stir, and then I gotta go get some pecans so I can put nice pecans on top of the turtles. And then I gotta go get lunch, which we're having Wawa subs because it's literally right there. <sighs> Change my gloves again. Busy, 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 busy. So, pecans in the pecan pan. And I'll set those right there. Right here. Get my bamboo skewers. Because they work better than metal. If you use the metal skewers with the caramel, it sticks terribly. Must take a couple. Right there. Get that guy ready, and then I measure out my caramel. I can eyeball it now. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. It is not always perfect. And I got to actually change this because I need a hand pad. Because when I'm pushing on the knife, it digs into my palm and it hurts. Change that. We're not doing well. We're going to have Chinese food. See, hand pad. It just protects my palm, although I think I need a new one because this one's kind of getting dull. 
And luckily, this caramel right here. Eat the broccoli soft. fried rice. It sounds good. But chicken and broccoli with fried rice and uh, chicken and broccoli and lo mein. Yeah, get some crab rangoons. Okay. Can you do that? I sure will. No one, they're gonna deliver. No, I mean the Wawa. No, we're gonna do Asian instead. You want lo mein? Okay. Okay. It's like it works your core muscles to push down. Works your arms. Good job, buddy. There we go. And then I do one, two, three, four. Four cuts to make squares. Two, three, yes, baby. Mm -hmm. no, I will. Okay. Yes, buddy. There we go. I promise they soften up. When you bite into it, it's really good. It's soft. They just came out of the fridge right now, so they're a little hard. Not so bad. This is a homemade family recipe, however you want to say it. It's my mom's recipe. We've been doing this for ever. 15, 16 years, somewhere there. If you go to any North Carolina or Virginia Wigmans, like I said earlier, you can find turtles, pralines, fudge. And a few local stores around here. There. Okay, all of my caramel squares, they're out. And now I can start dipping. Right on in that dark chocolate. We do do white chocolate turtles. Those are pretty good. But we do that when we have our store open and they'll be on the counter. Tell you what, we went to the beach last week and that was a nice mini vacation. I posted a video about that. And we get back and we are hit so hard with all these different orders. Really, my husband has all these different types of fudges he does. And we're going into fall, so we're going to go into like pumpkin pie and apple pie. A few places will drop off because they're just simply out of season. We get busy from now till around Christmas, and then again on Valentine's Day. Everybody wants candy in the fall season. Turtles. You can only get the turtles at Wegmans. Very tedious process. I guess it could be relaxing. It is relaxing. It's not so bad. It can be kind of stressful. Mm. 
go. I put a pecan, 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 whatever, however you want to say it, on the hole where the stick was so it doesn't leak, although they do leak sometimes. And then I got to fix them because they'll leak all over the box. And we cannot have that. go these are actually very perfect dipping caramel it's working out quite nicely they're sliding off the stick really good okay yeah there we go it's working out really good Maybe do like an up close view with these so you can see better. If you ever pick something up, like one of our candies, tell me about it in the comments. Tell me what you think. I'm curious about everybody's opinion. Or what is your favorite candy? Do you have any special candy that you like? Do you have any special candy that you make? He is, buddy. Dad's making maple fudge. Dad's making maple walnut fudge. Yes, he is. Do you have any candies that remind you of your childhood? Are you making turtles? I am making turtles. Turtles. I think some companies with their turtles, they kind of squish them and then give them feet. Isn't that what the turtle does? That turtle brand? I don't know. Or they do like the caramel and then put like a little glob of chocolate on the top. I don't know. I think that's what they do. Almost done with the first round. And then I have, oh, I think, seven pans. This will be, oh, I don't know, something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, that one doesn't want to come off. Probably because the stick is getting too much chocolate on it. That can happen too. It starts to dry around it. You hear a lot of background noise. It's just because we have a lot going on. And I can't help that. Look, they all came out really good. No swirls. They look nice. And the dark chocolate on these turtles is actually really good. But I'm accustomed to dark chocolate. I'm trying to get off like sweets and stuff. Like the sweeter stuff, like milk chocolate. Dark chocolate's healthier, so I tend to go for dark chocolate. This is really good. My kids would like it too. My kids like it. And there's that. And I'm going to stop right here. 
And I'm going to stop the video right here because I record on my phone and I already have a lot of um, storage issues with it. So thank you for joining me on Turtle Tuesday. If you like this kind of content, please feel free to like and subscribe. Over and out. Yeah. Mm. <laughs>